Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Gray BTC, and this is Hardcore Crypto. Uh, so, before we get started with today's subjects, you guys make sure that you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and then the bell button to make sure that you get notified anytime I post a new video or I go live and start giving away free cryptos. Um, also, make sure you hit the like button before we get started. But anyway, today we're talking about the Lindy effect. I know some of you right now are like, hey, the Lindy effect? Who is Lindy? Is it a hot chick? Or is it the name of my grandmother or my great-great-grandmother, which is not? Uh, the Lindy effect is a heuristic, a thumb rule. For some of you are already familiar with it, but I want to talk about it in the context of uh, cryptocurrency because uh, it's what we do on this channel, right? Finance and cryptocurrency. But basically, the Lindy effect is a theory uh, that predicts that the future life expectancy of some non-perishable things is proportionate to their current age, meaning that things that have existed before for X amount of time are more likely to exist in the next couple of years more than things that just came out of the blue recently. So let me make this clear because probably you're confused. Well, the design of certain things, for example, haven't changed in a lot of years and they're more likely to be the same in the next uh, 100 years probably. Let's look at the pants that you're wearing or the spoon or the chair that you're sitting on. Those are things that were designed many, many years ago. Actually, your grandmother and great, 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 great grandmother were sitting on the same design of a chair like you're sitting on today. The aesthetics might be different but or the material might be different but you know that most chairs still are four-legged and the spoon is pretty much a spoon at the same time you have things that do not stand the test of time especially are uh, things that haven't been in existence for a long a long time they're more likely to die off or things can come out at the same time and those that are robust they're more likely to stand the test of time and being used over time than others so i'll give you an example email and sms came out around the same period of time when they came out but sms is on the edge of death right now nobody really does sms anymore as much whereas email is being used even more today and we can predict that email will probably be in existence in the next five ten years or so so you might want to ask, so why is this important? Why is this relevant to investing, to Bitcoin and the things that we talk about on this channel? Where in a world or in a market where you have so many new things coming out, so many shiny things, it's easier to be fooled or to be tricked that new is always better. Because based on the Lindy effect, things that have actually been in existence for a long time are more likely to exist anyway because people are just used to using them or because they're actually robust and we have seen in the cryptocurrency market where you see uh, tokens coming out each and every day right ERC 20 tokens or in a new blockchains and whatsoever and they all claim that they are better than Bitcoin and they give you reasons for it right but then you know everyone is claiming that but at the same time people use Bitcoin and it has been existing for the last 10 years uh, the new coin has been in existence for like four months or a, year or a year or two. Based on the Lindy effect, if you are a new investor coming into the market and you want to make an easy decision on what is safer for you, at least not to lose money, you're actually much safer to just invest in Bitcoin. Right? I think that makes any sense to me. It does actually make a lot of sense. Does it to you guys? Another great example would be that of books. Books that have been in print for the last 40 years are more likely to keep existing in the next 40 years or so. Uh, and right now we have so many business or finance or economic books coming out each and every year by new writers, right? But you and I have probably read The Intelligent Investor, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, and all sorts of books of that nature that probably your kids will read them too because you recommend uh, those books to them because of heuristics, right? So new is all is not always better. It can be, but it's not always better. But at the same time, it's important to remember that this is just a thumb rule. It's not exclusive. It does not mean uh, that it applies in every scenario. There are new things that are can be good. You know, they can be better. But it's important to know uh, that there's this theory 
that exist out there to make your decision making very easy. So I hope you guys find this useful and get to apply it in different areas that you do, whether you're investing in cryptocurrencies or the stock market, uh, in whatever space that this applies. Basically, it just tells you that things that have uh, stood a test of time are more likely to exist longer because they are robust and they have been um, adapting to different market conditions. Uh, because new companies start every day, but hey, it only takes one regulation or one market effect to happen for them to collapse. Like we can say that Coca-Cola is much more likely to exist in the next 20 years, right? Uh, McDonald's is still much more likely to exist in the next couple of years. There might be a movement about health, you know, eating healthy, and maybe people don't want to eat McDonald's, uh, don't want to eat McDonald's as much. But at the same time, you know, you can see that McDonald's will actually bring vegan burgers and make them taste so good that every vegan will start going to McDonald's. Just an example. So it's important to know and to apply some of these uh, theories to your investment strategy. So if you're trying to get into Bitcoin, uh, you haven't bought any crypto, make sure you use the links in the description to buy your first Bitcoin. Uh, you can use Coinbase, Luno, CoinDirect, Binance, depending on where in the world you are. All the links are in the description. If you want to secure it, use Elegia Nano X. The, the link is in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and share the video. And always remember, put it under your pillow and next to your wall and in your bed. The Lindy effect is not a hot chick, it's a heuristic, a thumb rule to protect you from investing in. Thank you.